Hello, sports fans and baseball fans. We've got another 1994 Chicago White Sox game for you. And today, they'll be playing the Boston Red Sox. And up in the booth here, as you can see with me, is Chris Dufour. And we are both going to be announcing this game. Hopefully the White Sox win this game because, as you can see, the White Sox have improved their lot in life since the last time I did a recording and put it on the site. We are in second place now, two and a half games behind the Kansas City Royals. And the Red Sox, you can see, are uh, the bottom feeders in the East right now at 53 and 67. Currently on a three-game win streak, though. We're coming in hot. Coming in hot. So we'll have to see what hand we are going up against the Rocket, Roger, Roger Clemens, Clemens, in game one. Now, what we will do is we will uh, go to the, uh, let's see. Right, let me see if I can move this here a little bit. All right, so we're going to go to the gameplay, and then we're going to see, we want to try to get, because right now the, uh, the pitcher, for the, um, what are we doing here? All right. The pitcher for the White Sox. The White Sox at the moment is um, Austin Glenn. Who's a made up human being. He is a made up player, but I'm going to try to uh, see if it's possible to switch it. Well, no, I don't. That didn't do real well. All right. So mm. let's see. Hmm. Why don't you click on his name, maybe? Oh, wait a minute. Here, Here we go. We go to uh, Chicago lineup and starting pitcher. There we go. Where okay. is he? So and... for, for, for those of you wondering, some of the behind-the-scenes uh, inside baseball, Kirk McCaskill has sent a rather unruly note to Bob yes. Zolke and the White Sox management that he would like a shot in the rotation. And so we're trying to give him that shot. And then see what happens. Now, he is yellow, so that means, as you can see, so that means he is a little bit on the tired side right now. But we will give it a shot. We'll see what he can do and where his, uh, where his bar ends up being. But we're going to do that. We're going to let him start the game. Now, let's go back to, um, uh, let's see. You gonna make any other changes to the lineup? Uh, yeah, I'm trying to figure out um, how I get back to that. Um, Chicago lineup and starting. Well, all right, You're right yeah, there. yeah, okay. You're right there. So, well, this is. Oh, that's not. Yeah, the lineup. that's not that's not the lineup. I think this is the lineup right yeah, here. So yeah, here we go. So we got Joey Cora leading off, playing second base. Darren Jackson in right. Frank Thomas at DH. Julio Franco at first. Robin. Ventura Highway at third, Tim Raines Sr. and left. The Rock. Guillen at short, and Lavalier is already in there. So yeah. as salty as Lavalier is. Lavalier, for those people uh, watching, also sent a rather he did. unruly note saying, hey, play me or it's the highway for me. And right. now It could very well be the highway. We'll see. To McCaskill's credit, McCaskill said, try me and see how it goes. Right. Lavalier was a little bit more insistent and said, no, I need to be the starting catcher. So we will see how that goes. And then we will Don't know how Ron Karkovic feels about we that. We will either. take a look at, uh, we'll let Chris assess the Boston yeah, let's do that. lineup. And uh, there is their lineup right there. Now, let me see if we can uh, move this up a little bit so that you can see the ninth batter. There we go. So. Well, he's gone again. Hmm? The ninth batter's gone again. Oh. All right. I'd have never... What? Well, it's very interesting. Okay, so right. I already so, know. Let's just go. All right. So, we'll leading go. off, playing center field, Otis Old Speed Nixon. Old Speed. He's got 30 stolen bases on the year, folks. Batting second, the legend Mike Greenwell in left. The DH today, batting third, Mo Vaughn. At short, batting fourth in the cleanup position, John Valentin. Tim Nairing, 
playing first base today, batting fifth, batting sixth, the third baseman, our all-star in 1994 and 93, Scott Cooper. And Scott Cooper is tiring, as you can see, his yeah. bar right here. He's yeah. got two yellow bars. I know, so I'm tired of him already. <laughs> Carlos Rodriguez, who I've never heard of in my life, is going to play second base and bat seventh for seventh. Oscar Bonilla, another guy, never know. I don't know much about Oscar. He's red hot, apparently. So maybe we can switch him and Rodriguez and put the hot guy in seventh and the Rodriguez guy I've never heard of in eighth or ninth. Well, let's see if we can do I'm that. I'm sure we can do it. No. Nope. No, nope, can't no, do that. it. No, let's do it. All right. Well, and who's batting ninth? I think it was Danny, Danny Hernandez. Danny Martinez. Danny Martinez. Martinez oh, you know, we have Scott Fletcher on this team. We should put him at second instead of Carlos Rodriguez. Let's do that. Okay, let's Scott Fletcher. Let's Scotty put Scott Fletcher, Fletcher in the lineup. Where is he? He's right here in the white there. Okay. Let's put him down there in second for Carlos Rodriguez. Yeah, I like that. And then in no nope. anybody else? No, nope, we're not letting you do it. Why can't we Be do it? Because the computer is controlling Boston. The com oh. computer controls well, all the other teams. So lousy decision computer. So we we we've got a disagreement up here in the booth on who Boston should be playing at second base, but ridiculous. That is going to be like we should be catching Dave Valley, right? Not Dave Danny Valley catching. So right. I see Hethix is in the red over there. He won't be pitching today. So yeah, right. <laughs> right. All right. Well, we, we got are Rock. going to the game. Here we go. And uh, let's see here if I can figure out where his bar is because that's that. Uh, you know, this is just computer is just not working. But hold hold on, maybe this will work. No. All right. Well, anyway, Hess, or, uh, um, Kirk McCaskill is out there pitching, and Otis Dixon is the batter. Okay. And we will pitch. We will get on here. Pitch to bat. Here's the pitch. McCaskill looking for a spot in the rotation. He's talked to White Sox management about it. It's a big decision. Yeah, and he does need to prove himself here because if he doesn't do well, Nixon. That's going to be an out. Oh, lines Ooh, it to short. Gian snags it. Ozzie Gian, very good defensive <laughs> shortstop. Yes, he was on the move is. there. So let's see. One down in the first. McCaskill looks in for the sign. Greenwell steps to the plate. The Gator. The, the Gator, Gator launches it to left. But, but it's no, going to be a fly. It's out. a pop out, really, to left. Can of corn, as we call it. All right. And then. Uh, Two down for Big Mo Vaughn. Big Mo, oh, and he's going to look like again he's in the good. hole. Yes, Guns yes. out, Vaughn. One, two, three for McCaskill. It is a one, two, three inning McCaskill's for McCaskill. running to the dugout right to you going, look, I told you, bro. <laughs> look. I told you. Look at that. So, Here anyway. comes the rocket. So, yeah, Roger Clemens Not is having there. a good year in, uh, what is this, OP what? Uh, OP out of the park. Out, out of the, the park. park baseball he's not having a good team. year. He's... But he whiffs the first guy he faces. Well, who was that guy? Why don't you? That was, uh, the first guy was, I don't even remember who it was. It was Cora. <laughs> Cora's he, done. He whiffed, yeah. He not Alex, Cora. but Joey. He, yes. He Darren Jackson Cora. steps to the plate. Darren Jackson is going to be a tougher customer. No, he's not. But he is going to pop out he pops to second it up base. To second base, who is manned by Scott Fletcher. Scotty Fletcher. And now it's going no, to be. No, they didn't let us put Scotty Fletcher in, did they? No. Oh, no, 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 they didn't. So it's the other guy. So it's going to be Carlos uh, Rodriguez. Clemens dealing to. Um, Frank Thomas, Frank, the big hurt. Two the, Hall of Famers. Well, kind of. Two Hall of Famers, kind of. And he got. He threw it outside. It would have been a ball, but. Valentin. Scoops it up and short, bite. guns it yeah. to first. Yep. Denaring. And now. Leading off the top of the second, John Valentin. John Facing Valentin. McCaskill. McCaskill gunning for McCaskill that spot after in rotation. That, after that quick. Whoa, Whoa, he walked Valentin, though. John Valentin. <laughs> Valentin up is Naring. on first. Naring, a very good candidate to hit into a double play. And but he no, does it. He, he rips, rips a single, single to right. right field. He's not happy with my. <laughs> oh, and they're not. Ooh, he takes the extra base. They couldn't even get him at wow, third. Wow, Valentin showing up in the little speed he had. So Scotty Koopa is up, and uh, Kirk McCaskill, I have to think, is uh, oh, not doing well. He got in the his... pop up though. He got the flat. Yeah, the, the pop up the center. Let's see if they can get oh, it. He... Yeah, play the plate. He didn't even slide. Safe. Yep, he is safe. He, I thought he was here. gonna have to slide on that play, but you know he did. He, he, yeah, he he played it by ear. Wow. And he obviously Carlos Rodriguez. 
Carlos Rodriguez is going to ground out to second, and, and that should gonna be do it. it. Yeah, that's going to do it. Carlos Rodriguez grounds out to second. It's one nothing going in the bottom of the oh, second. Oh no, no, no! That Whoa, was, no. no! We still got another. We got oh, Oscar Benia. Two outs, so right? Two outs. The dangerous Oscar Benia steps up. And, and Oscar Benia is very dangerous. Is he it's gone. Home run? Oscar <laughs> Benia, who is red hot coming into the game, but we don't know who he is, has just barked a two run homer. <laughs> right. Wow, that's a home run number five for Oscar Benia. So we were hoping we would be out of the uh, inning, and Kirk McCaskill was hoping that this inning never existed. McCaskill's now hoping he's out of the rotation because that is not happening. His spot is I gone. I don't think I could get another uh, personal message from him being yeah. uh, salty about his. Uh, yeah, how about next time he, he writes you, you can be like, hey, I got two words for you, Oscar Bonilla. So we got Julio down by the schoolyard, Franco. The Rocket has a 3 nothing lead going to the bottom of the second. And, and he, he whips Franco. Out. He's like, see you, Julio. That brings up Robin Ventura. Robin Ventura. The rocket Robin. looks in, delivers. And that's going to be a floater pop to, up short. to short. Valentin scoops it easy. And up steps Danny Martinez. No, nope, the rock. Okay, he's behind Tim the Rain plate. Senior. So, yeah, Tim Rain uh, Sr. The Tim. rock looks in. The rocket looks in at the rock. And a pitch. It's popped up and foul. It's going to be pop foul, Cooper. and it's going to be an out. Cooper grabs it near the dugout. And Clemens is looking real sharp. After right two, now. it's 3 nothing Boston. McCaskill, on the other hand, gave up that three spot in the second. Let's see Ooh. if he can uh, bounce back that must have, Was that Danny Martinez right there? I think it probably was. Yeah. No, and, that was the leadoff hitter. Uh, that was Otis Nixon. This is Mike Greenwell, batter number two in its spot. Oh, okay, yeah. Otis Greeny Nixon. up. Mike Greenwell lofts one. And it's a he's, high yeah, pop-up. It's going to be a field. high pop-up, a rainmaker, and it is going to be an out. Gian makes the play, and there's two down quickly. Big move on. McCaskill has gone back to pitching well. After, uh, whoa, but he walks but move he, on. But, most you know, people would. That's right. not a bad decision. I mean, that is, you can't Valentin, really though. For that, oh, but Valentin's, Valentin's really going to go deep. Oh, did he catch it? Yeah, the no, no, it's gone. <laughs> John Valentin. It oh, McCaskill. McCaskill, really? Say goodbye to your little friend, McCaskill. <laughs> your spot that's in rotation cool. is gone. <laughs> and that's going to be that's a walk a also. Walk, yeah. Oh, wait, it might be time to get the bullpen up. Yeah, I think it probably. McCaskill's looking not good. Is there? Yeah, there's two outs. All right, so we will get the bullpen up. And McCaskill's on red. Yeah, he yeah. is. He's gas. He's like, listen, that wasn't a real choice. That, that wasn't was, a real. That wasn't a real uh, option. We're gonna get Danny Piper up. Yeah, why not? I mean, Piper should be up. Do you want to warm up Danny Piper? Yeah. Yeah, we're do. doing that. So let's go to the game action and let's this see. Brings it. up the coop with a man on first and two outs, five nothing lead. Oh, Cooper and swings the ball be a ground four. out. And yeah, he grounds out to second. So he got us out of that, and Piper will be available for the. Well, let's hope he is. That's going to be, we're heading to the bottom of the third, I believe. Five nothing. Five nothing Boston. A couple two run jacks. You've got to think the Rocket can hold this. Well, you hope. That's a deep fly, but Greeny's under it and left. And One away. And that brings up Mike Lavalle. He's also uh, very salty and wants some hot spot in the, right. in the lineup. So let's see him prove himself well, here. He, and he strikes. He's got a spot out. on the dugout the, bench after the, striking out. You know what? The two saltiest <laughs> guys <laughs> that. Really, were complaining about their playing time. Are not showing that they. Really oh, won. Clemens walks a batter though with two yeah. outs. That puts a runner on first with the White Sox. You never want to walk a guy with two outs, Bob. Right, and that's Joey Cora. Oh, leadoff hitter Joey, Joey Cora is back. going to be back to the top of the. Oh, oh and that was see a that play that by Nary a first. screaming liner to Nary. Nary and not even did not come it. up as a first baseman, but he looked like one there. So we are going to make the change. We're going to go to Cast the bullpen, out after three and innings. it says Danny Piper is ready, and he Piper coming in. probably should be by now. Piper is ready. The White Sox trail five nothing. McCaskill, if you're looking for his line, three innings, four hits, five runs. Ooh, Ooh how about that? Whiff. Piper comes in and he's not playing. Carlos around. Rodriguez is like, I don't. Oh no! But this brings up the man, Oscar Bonilla. Oscar Look out, folks. Benia! Yeah, Benia is oh, going to line wow, up. Wow, he, he got all of it, but right at the third baseman venture. Yeah, that's right. For the second out. And that's going to be a ground out to 
First base, Tom? No, uh, Thomas is a DH. Who's at my, first? Um, I don't even you remember don't know, who do you? is at first base. Okay, bottom of the fourth. First base for the White Sox is Julio Franco. Julio down by the schoolyard made that play. So we're going to Darren Jackson. Bottom of the fourth. Jackson, Rocket leans back, delivers a pitch. And that's going to be a base hit. Can't get it. Base John hit Valentin. in the hole. I thought he had it for a minute, but he kind of pulled up. Yeah, he did. <laughs> he did. Like he was scared of the ball. Lead off single, though, and that brings up the Ooh, big hurt. Frank he could Thomas. Get, he could get the White Sox back in 70 this game. contact, 75 power. Double play. Oh, and he oh, walked. walked him. Oh, the Rockies is finding himself in his first trouble of the day. Right. And uh, Julio Franco. Julio down by the schoolyard. And he hits it right up the middle for a base oh, hit. Oh, is the runner going to soar? No, they hold uh, him up Let's third. see. Jackson. No, do you want Jackson around third mid the balls? Uh, Bad the ball. runner. Below average arm. No outs, though. Oh. I'm going to say yes. Oh, here it comes to play. Nixon floats a looper. Jackson and he does make it. He makes slides. it. Yes. And he's safe. <laughs> and now Clemens finds himself in so a... So it is five to one. A real pickle because he's first and second. Nobody out to run in and Ventura at the plate. And he walks him. Clemens has gone off yes. the rails here. <laughs> yes, he is. They're loaded with no outs. We're watching Clemens fall apart in front of our eyes. Here comes the, the tying run at the plate. Tim, Tim Rock Reigns. Reigns. And Tim Rock is, is going to hit it deep. That Let's see if we can score deep. the run. Well, Nixon with the and we are going to score the run. So yeah, sack fly. It is five to two. Wow! And all of a sudden, we're back in the game. But Rock, but what well, Clemens has got an out now. How's he Gian? Gian's going to hit a double oh, play here. Four. Yeah. No, no, no! They hold Valentin the ball. They stood there like a statue. He said, "I'm not going to throw this ball and possibly get a double play." <laughs> Fielder's choice. So, yes, we got runners at the corners with two down and oh, Mike Lavalier. This is a big at bat for Lavalier. This is, yes, this is the proving ground right here. Yeah, that's not going to do and it. And that is going to be just a shallow fly. Shallow to fly to Mike Greenwell. And that's the end of four. Boston up five to two. And Pfeiffer's still out there. Let's hope he can Lead give off us hitter. two or three innings. Otis Nixon to Gian. And he's out at first. Yep. One away for Matt the Burns Green Master. Greenwell, Mike the Greenwell. Gator. The Gator! Oh, he's going to ground out to Ventura. Wow. And that brings up Mo Vaughn with two outs and nobody out. Big Mo. Big, oh, big Mo! Mo. Did a, he get it out? That's large and in he, charge! No! Oh, at the right, warning track! Right to the warning track. Wow. <laughs> Mo Vaughn to the track. So... It is still 5 Some three. guy named C. Morgan caught that on the track. Yeah, Chris Morgan, and he's Chris at the plate Morgan. right now. You know, Well, you know that often happens, Bob. You know, great it play does. to end the inning, yeah. lead off. And they, they walk, walk Chris Clemens Morgan. Really, no control the last two innings. No, that's true. Lead off walk to Chris Morgan. And Joey Cora, the little, the little, <laughs> the little man in the lineup, uh, and he is going to... I was gonna say you it. need to watch whatever you're about to say. I don't know what where you're headed with that, but Joey Gore grounds to second, <laughs> one out. So he did move the runner over. So we have Darren Jackson trying to knock him in. Knock him in. He might. He does. Run, falls in. It looks like that's gonna be it. That's gonna be a three. That's gonna be the third run. So no, is, he didn't no, score. no, he didn't. Held up oh, a third. My God. First and third, one out. Unbelievable. But the big hurt against but, yes. Rocket, and Rocket is hurting right now. He is. He's walked four in the last one and a third innings. And he walks. Five makes it five. He walks. Uh, but, you know, of the course, if you're a White Sox fan, you wanted to see him swing on that and try to get some. Well, I didn't want to. Put a big hurt on the ball. But. Clemens to Franco, though, with the bases loaded up 5-2. And he, he walks, walks in. And walks in a run. Clemens is about to lose <laughs> it a la 1990 and get tossed from this game. Oh, now Ventura up with the lo bases loaded. Ventura Five to three highway. Game. And he that's going to be Ventura. inside. He walks another run. All right, look, look, this look. I'm no fool, but I think we need to warm somebody up in the bullpen. <laughs> or is the computer in charge of that? The computer is in charge well, of that. Well, he's crazy. Yes. He's not doing anything. He isn't. And here it is. There's his line. 4.1 innings seven pitch, walks. seven walks. <laughs> you don't see that from Roger Clemens. No, you day. do not see that very often. And Tim Rock. He had a 5 nothing lead. Oh, he he, oh, wow. Reigns. That's now, a big strikeout. Yes, Clemens fights back. Two outs. And that brings to the plate Ozzy Guillen. Not a power threat, but a two run single gives the White Sox the lead here. And that's going to be on the ground, but it they're it's probably going to make the play, and they do. So it's it it's only 5-3, but five four, dude. 
Oh, is it 5-4? Yeah, oh, all one. right. Well, hey. At the end of five, it's Boston five, Chicago now, four. I do think we need to get somebody. Well, not not right yet. No, nah, let's not do it right yet. I mean, Fiverr's probably got another inning in him. Yeah, probably. And he's been pitching really well in relief. And, and he strikes. Yeah, he's been. He's been on fire. This guy, Pfeiffer. You now have an incomplete lineup or defensive position missing. Well, thank you. Oh, uh, what happened? Who did we? Uh... Is it? No, oh, the pitcher, he got injured. Somehow he oh, got wow. injured or Pfeiffer something said happened I'm done. to him. So we're going to go with Jose De Leon. Yeah, he's not going to have much of a chance to warm up either. No. He's Although they there. should. I mean, I hope the game incorporates that he would have warmed up. I hope the but, game incorporates that he's going to give a home run to Tim Nary. But here is Jose De Leon. Jose De Leon comes in after Pfeiffer gets hurt. Pfeiffer. And he strikes out. <laughs> so... Pfeiffer threw two and a third innings of shutout relief, by the way. Very important to yes, note that. Yes, that, that was key for the White Sox if they hope to win this game. And oh, that's an error. error by Julio down by Julio the Julio Afranco can't handle the bounce. And there's a man on first with two outs. Four. Whoever know. it is, I he flew out. thought it was out. Carlos Rodriguez, maybe. But he flew out. But so, out. hey, we get out of the inning. The White yeah. Sox Go to get the bottom out of the, the six. This game's moving along, but it's tight. It is in Lavalier. Once again, Lavalier steps up. Clemens all of this still talk. on the mound. Nobody in the bullpen. He's walked seven in the last two innings. All of this talk that Lavalier was putting up, and yeah. yet well, he talked. He put it up a ground out to second. He's thrown out by Rodriguez and is one away. And um, Chris Morgan, here he is. Crit, the immortal Chris Morgan, and he strikes. Goes, out. Clemens is like, I'm going to calm down a little bit in this inning. And uh, Joey Cora's Joey two outs, Cora. nobody on. Leadoff hitter. Clemens rears back. Oh, and Joey Cora hits it to the wall. Oh, wow, that's a line drive to the that's gap. That's gonna be a lead Greenwell off, takes his time a, getting yeah, to it. Two out double by Cora. Of course, standing there, I think he could have gone to third on that play. He might by have the time been Greenwell able walked to. back there. And that's gonna set the table for Darren. Time Jackson. run in scoring position with two outs. Oh, and he strikes Clemens. out. Clemens gets him on a high heater. Clemens got strikeouts on all three outs that inning. Struck out the side around that double. Top and, of the seventh. Uh, Oscar Bonilla. He had a two-run homer earlier in the game. Oh, oh Bonilla! Bonilla! He cranks it again, folks! It's oh, going to be out! Darren Jackson. Right in front of the warning. Running. Man, Oscar Bonilla. Where's he been all my life? Oh, that's, that's going to be a strikeout. That's so. Danny Martinez. Yeah, yeah. And that brings up Otis Nixon top of the order for the Red Sox. And that's oh, gonna Nixon's going to line a, a base, base hit. hit. Base hit, right? I don't know. we got to yeah. see if Nixon can steal here. Get him in scoring position. Of course, I have no control over that. The Gator. The Gator. Oh, the Gator. It's a weak crowd of the pitcher and almost beats it out. For, he, he did does, beat it out. He does beat oh, it out. Oh, my goodness. Mike Greenwell. Mike Greenwell beats out DeLone. the play at first base. De Leon, De he was dealing. That brings up Mo Vaughn. And oh, he does wow. strike out How about Mo Vaughn? that? He struck out Mo Vaughn in a big situation. Greenwell hustling back to the dugout. Holy cow. All right, let's oh, see. Oh, new I'm... pitcher. Chris Howard for the Red Sox. Chris Howard. Clemens is gone after six, probably because he walked seven. And I am going to get somebody. Yeah, I'm going to. I think we're going to have a great gossip. We're going to get Gossage up. Ooh, the goose. He is back in, in Chicago. Bullpen. And uh, Chris Howard dealing to Frank Tom. Let's see how he deals well, I with I can't imagine they're going to be very good for the Red Sox. Yeah. And Thomas it's going to be a fly the center. Out the center. Nixon's there, and there's one away. Man. Howard Julio thrown Franco. from the left side to the Franco master. And Ooh, he strikes he on Franco. Oh, that was a nice slider right there. The relief pitching in this game has been stellar. Howard. Oh, wow. I thought that was ball four, but he rolls it to Rodriguez. Oh, yes, and he's out. That was a one, two, three inning for Howard right there. That's as clean an inning as you can see, Bob. All right, I'm going to let Jose De Leon at least start this inning and see if he can get us. At well, least. Yeah, he yeah, struck he out John Valentin. And uh, that brings up Naring. Tim Naring. Oh, Naring, Naring is going to ground out. Snagged by Julio. Franco at first, and, and now I will bring in. We'll go to the bullpen. The goose. And we will bring the goose in. Is the goose ready? He is ready. He's ready and fired up, according to all indications out there. Here comes Coop. 
Scotty Coop, Red Sox All Star. Scotty Cooper facing Goose Gossage. Jen, oh, is that going to be out? Is that going to be? It. No. no, no. Wow, a couple of deep fly balls for the Red Sox in this game. Three of them now. Right, and we're going to the bottom of the eighth. Chris Howard still on the, on the bump. Going to face the Rock starting Tim in the eighth. Rays. We're just hoping we can get back around to Frank Howard. Well, we don't and have that, Frank Howard, uh, so that's going to oh. be a real issue for you. Well, I mean, like, by the ninth, before the game ends. But no. that was an infield hit right there. I'm just saying you don't have Frank Howard on this team. Or Frank uh, Frank Thomas. Okay. Yeah. That was an infield hit. Lead off infield hit. Ozzie. Ozzie, yeah. you are you bunting him? No. No bunting nope. in this game either. No bunting. I don't bunt. I don't like the bunt. And that's going to be a fly out. Well, you like the lazy fly out the left. <laughs> that's one way. <laughs> Mike Lavelle. Here he is. He's got Prove a shot. Himself. Oh, double play. One, two, two three. And that, Mike, is your straight ticket to the bench for the rest of the season. <laughs> Congratulations. You got your shot. It's over. We're so going to the ninth. We do have Gossage out there. Who's trying to protect the, the one-run deficit? Dealing nope. to Carlos Rodriguez. And oh, he Carlos to Rodriguez. It. Carlos Rodriguez is on first. A leadoff hit. Gossage. Wants to keep the deficit at one. Oh, Ooh, there's a trying, punt. Yeah, they're trying to Somebody bunt. Somebody else. But why would you bunt with Benia, though? He can hit it out. Go. He struck yeah, out. He did strike Who out. Who said, don't waste my time. That brings up the immortal uh, Danny Martinez. Oh, oh and the man. ball gets past Lavalle. Lavalle. I mean, there is really no reason to keep him in the game at this point. <laughs> no I don't know why we don't pull him right now. Uh-oh. Uh, ground ball to gonna short. It's going to be a ground ball to short. And that will be the Runner second Runner holds out. it second. And it's Otis Nixon. Good Otis, time for a hit here, Otis. Old speed Nixon. Look at Otis. He pops it to, to right. Yeah, pop out to right. And oh, man. That is it. Who's the Red Sox closer? We're going to find out. Ken Ryan. Ken Ryan. Here he go. Now, he had a good year in 94. I remember this. Yeah, and he is having a good year in Out of the Park Baseball yeah. as well. I believe he came up and had like, had like a 2.44 year in 94 or something. With the White Sox down by one, they're going to lead off with Chris uh, Chris Morgan. Morgan. Yeah. Chris Morgan. Oh, Chris no, Morgan! No, no. Oh, oh, he says, shame yes. on you. Here comes the play at <laughs> second base. That's going to be a double. A double, oh, lead man. off double. Ken Ryan doesn't know what hit him. Literally, Chris Morgan. No, I know. He's like, I don't know who Chris Morgan is. All right. Tying ran on second. No outs, bottom of the ninth for and Cora. Joey Cora, now you got I a may bunt. try a bunt. You got yes. a bunt here. Yes. And the bunt, he gets it down, and he does move the man oh, over to third. So Carlos we got a man Rodriguez third. Rodriguez covers first nicely on that one, though. One I think, down. It's, I think it's Frank. Oh, Darren Jackson. Darren Jackson. Ken Ryan infield in for the Even Red Sox. Even take a deep fly here. Oh, no, Darren infield Jackson in and ties the game. Oh, and the <laughs> yeah. Red Sox blow a 5 nothing lead. <clears throat> and the big hurt's up. Just and the it. big hurt. This is where Ryan. We, we wanted to see him get up at least one more time. And let's see what happens. When that happens and he gets a base hit, we've got two runners on. with only First and second one out. Just one five out. Five to five in the bottom of the ninth. It couldn't get any more. And tense. that brings up Julio, Julio Franco. Franco. Oh, oh Franco. Julio Franco is going to into a four, double play. Three. We got extra no, baseball. We, we got free do. baseball. We got free baseball. We got free baseball. I don't, think, baseball. I don't think our bullpen can afford the free baseball, but, but we'll see what Gossage has left in him. Well, Eric Sizemore is pinch hitting. I've never heard of him, so I think you're in good shape there. Uh, no, oh God, we're what? not. We're Eric, not in good who shape. Is Eric, Eric Sizemore. Sizemore. Who is Eric Sizemore? He is just a homer leading up the death of Goose Gossage. I don't know who he is, <laughs> but he just went 404 feet for the. It's, yeah. not, it's not like he's Mo Vaughn. No, it's not like that at all. Vaughn strikes out. <laughs> now that makes total sense. <laughs> Sizemore goes deep. No, don't know who that cat is. So we're going to have to come up with at least one more run, and then he walks the next guy. So I'm thinking uh, Gossage is running out of gas here. Naring base oh, hit. All right, I gotta. I've got to get. And hopefully. Oh wait! Whoa! No! He's in at third base! Oh, this is what bad. A, that very was a very heads-up running play there. Putting a runner on third with one out. Yeah, he's almost out of gas, and we're going to get Roberto Hernandez up. Oh, it's too late, though. It's too but, late. yeah, it might it's, be. It's too it late. may well be too late. Look at this. Scotty Cooper's going to cash us in right here. Oh, he no! strikes out. Goose. Gossage reached back a little bit. He's like, I got something left for you, Coop. And there's two down. For Carlos Rodriguez. Face hit, Carlos. Let's hope he's not a good player nope. and he's going to ground out let's hope he's not do. a good player yeah. <laughs> well he is he's in the majors <laughs> bottom of the 10th bottom of the 10th jeff now russell we need... strives in jeff 
Russell. The legendary yeah. closer Jeff Russell. Who's he who's leading off here? Um this was uh It's not Craig Morgan, is it? No, no. No, it's not. And that Oh, oh great, catch. great diving catch. Otis, the old out. man Nixon has made the play here. So with one down, we have Tim the Rock, Rock Reigns batting. What a catch by Nixon to start the 10th. And he swings at a ball. Nixon's got this and, one, too. Yep. And there's two down, nobody on. Two oh, down the Red very Sox. quickly, and Ozzie Guillen up. Guillen trying to keep the game alive. Russell's. Got no intention of letting that happen, but he does want And he strikes oh, him he out. No, he out. strikes him out. That is going to Jeff be the Russell, game. Jeff Russell, one, two, three. And so let's take a look at the box score here for well, these teams. I mean, really, all we need to know is Eric Sizemore went deep. <laughs> I mean, I, that's his first home run of the year, by the way. So that was a very timely home run. <laughs> right. I mean, we had two hits from Tim Nairing and, uh, you know, a two-run homer from Bonilla and a two-run homer from Valentin. And then you look at the pitch line for the Red Sox. Clemens. Clemens, six, six innings, innings, four, four hits, hits, four runs, seven, seven walks, walks, and struck out but six. But then the bullpen. I mean, Chris Howard was delightful. Yeah, the bullpen, yes. And Jeff Russell was good. Ryan blew it, of course. But for you, M Mr. McCaskill, you're in trouble. <laughs> you're, I would say. You're, you're, you're back in the bullpen. Pfeiffer, you get a gold medal. And then uh, DeLeon was pretty good, too, I'd say. <laughs> the Goose did what he could. But, I mean, you know, you can't. You can't. Expect them to get Eric Sizemore out. So now I'm going to get a PM from the uh, personal message from the uh, GM saying, stop listening to these guys when they say that they deserve more playing time. Well, you did lose by a run in an extra inning. It wasn't, <laughs> I don't know if it was all their fault. I but mean, anyway, that will be it for me. Sportsman Z, Bob Zolke, signing off.